Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing about dumbbell architecture and interoperability in network management. Now this is how we are going to continue with this. First we are going to discuss interoperability. The definition of interoperability as you all know is the ability of different hardware and software systems often from different vendors to work together effectively and exchange information seamlessly which means the different components from different vendors we are getting in any system there will be a slight problem in communicating with each other so this is where interoper interoperability comes into play so we can with the use of interoperability the different parts or different hardware and software components or systems within a, within a system are going to be able to communicate and work together effectively and seamlessly without any delay or interference now as you can see this is a network management system vendor a like the system from a vendor a and this is system from vendor b now as you all know the the separate systems within each network management system vendor like we are getting network agent over here and network objects and this is from network management system vendor a and here we have another network agent and object these are uh, communicating seamlessly and effortlessly with each other but what if we have a system that is from another vendor for example let's take vendor b okay the same system will be followed in vendor b but here the communication between these two is going to take place like this this messages and services and protocols between these two are going to be shared effortlessly and seamlessly there will be no error or no delay within this and now this is the importance of interoperability is that it is crucial in modern computing because it allows diverse systems to communicate and collaborate without it the data silos can form limiting the flow of information and hindering productivity with what it means is that in today's world we have multiple different components within a single system or we have different components within different uh, with different users so what it does is it creates a seamless and effortless flow of information exchange between these two users or these two systems of which are of different origins so now it allows the system to communicate and collaborate effortlessly without it the data silos can form which means the data will pile up which are which is limiting the flow of information it when it limits the flow of in information it will obviously hinder or it will interfere with the productivity of the system and the user next standards and protocols interoperability is often achieved through the use of standardized protocols and data formats common examples include http of web communication and tcp or ip for internet connectivity as you all know we have already seen the uses of tcp and ip for in internet and web communication this is very crucial this plays a very crucial part in communication between systems and then moving on the challenges achieving interoper interoperability can be challenging due to variations in standards proprietary technologies and evolving software versions it requires careful planning testing and sometimes custom integration solutions what it means is between users who have different systems or different versions there will be a slight hindrance okay so what we're talking about here is when achieving interoperability or smooth and seamless flow of information between user 1 and user 2 or system 1 and system 2 there are a slight hiccups and problems which are like some systems may have a higher standards or some systems may have different softwares and then some systems may be of different versions it requires to overcome this it requires careful planning testing and sometimes custom integrated solutions we have to come up with new solutions on our own to make sure that there is no problem in the flow of information between the systems now we are, we are going to look at the examples examples are interoperability is evident in various domains such as the ability of different brands of smartphones to communicate through wi-fi or bluetooth or the compatibility of web browsers with various websites and web applications it also plays a crucial role in networking where routers switches and other devices must interoperate to enable data flow across the internet as you can all see different mobile brands we have such as samsung iphone 
oppo vivo oneplus and all these brands now even though we we all have different brands of smartphones we are still able to communicate between these brands through the use of wi-fi bluetooth and other systems and other platforms now and then we also have the compatibility of web browsers within web and various websites and web applications so this is this these are some examples of interoperability now next when we're talking about the dumbbell architecture and interoperability when we look at this we have can you look at the diagram here and we here we have vendor a and vendor b now in dumbbell architecture what happens is there are three main protocols which are application services management protocol and transport protocols which effectively manage and it produces a seamless flow of information between two systems which are of different vendors or different origins now look at this the, here we have vendor a uh, the vendor a system as uh, different objects and here we have vendor b here to achieve a seamless flow of information between vendor a and vendor b which means the systems which are which they are providing now here we'll look at it application services provide a user interface a front for the user to uh, communicate with the between the systems and then there is management protocol it, the management protocol provides you with protocols to effectively use this uh, facilities and then we have transport protocols this is a crucial part where it like it manages the flow of traffic of the data and information that is being shared between these two systems as you can see network segmentation dumbbell architecture divides the network into two distinct segments often with different purposes or security requirement so here it is divided into two different segments and this is for like it has different purposes or security requirements and then the central hub it features a central hub that connects these two segments typically containing critical network components like routers switches and load balancers and then there is traffic routing traffic between two segments passes through this central hub allowing for traffic control optimization and security enforcement next we have interoperability challenge ensuring interoperability in a dumbbell architecture can be complex due to the need to integrate various network devices from different vendors and then we have vendor diversity organizations may use equipment from multiple vendors in central hub making it essential to ensure the comp compatibility and smooth operation standards and protocols interoperability relies on adherence to standardizing networking protocols and configurations to ensure that devices can communicate effectively management complexity managing interoperability within a dumbbell architecture requires careful planning configuration management and ongoing monitoring ongoing monitoring to maintain network reliability and performance what it means is to manage interoperability as such it does not disturb the flow of information between two systems or systems between two vendors is it requires careful planning we have to plan very carefully as to not hinder the flow of information and then it requires configuration management we have to manage the configuration properly and we have to monitor the monitor uh, we have to keep the monitor ongoing monitoring ongoing between sessions to maintain the network reliability and performance so this is all for today this is what dumbbell architecture and interoperability is all about so that's it for today thank you see you in the next video guys thank you all I like if it I like it if you would like share and subscribe